What more do you want from me? <laughs> oh my god. Look. Um, okay. <laughs> look, that's tough to watch. Uh, it's hard for me I, to make fun of this. Hey, listen, know. that's why we're a team. Because I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> it makes you look weak. Not that you can love your daughter. I'll Where tell you what is makes a- it look weak. It's that he's not in control of those emotions. Yes. yes. That's what it is. Emotion, having a seat at the table will clog your will clog your ability to interpret the situation to the best of your ability. You sometimes when you are emotional about it, you don't even see that this that your relationship is transactional. Tyrese needs one of those like breathalyzers they put on your car. He's gotta wipe his face on it or something, make sure there's no tears on it before <laughs> he can put you open on a up stand. the phone. If any teardrops hit it, you can't use your phone. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Yo, what's up, Square Pimp Brigade? Uh, GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolutions being podcasted, and I am excited. Uh, another great episode. First and foremost, I got to talk to my partner in crime. What's going on, Harry? You ready to rock and roll? Yo, Dante, I'm I'm living the life. I'm absolutely ready to rock and roll. If I was doing any better, I'd be Tyrese's divorce attorney, all right? It's, <laughs> I'm living the life here. Uh, I'll tell you who's not living the life is poor Tyrese, who is going through Tyrese. a real bad situation here. Um, and he and his wife uh, went through are going through a messy divorce. He has a prenup, and she's still fighting him on the prenup with lawyers. And now they're both going online to to spill the tea, so to speak. Um, yeah, and it's getting it's just too much. On everything is online now. But I mean, there's celebrities, but I didn't know that was part of the deal. That's a thing. You didn't yeah. know that was a thing. That's a thing now. It's just, but that's part of the kit. It used to be get divorced. You got to change your hair color. Fun Remember fact: that? Harry went through a divorce. Nobody knew. Nobody knew. Um, Nobody. I knew. do have videos of him crying, though. I got some. Well, that's I, true, but that I wasn't over the divorce, though. That was, you know, <laughs> Taco Bell doesn't was, carry the uh, uh, grilled stuffed burrito anymore. I mean, Listen, what are you gonna do? It was, if anything, it was happy tears. Was that's happy, true. Well, that's a different story. Tears. Yeah, I was happy to be done with that. Yeah, he's he's looking in a camera here. He's sharing maybe I think a little too much. You tell me, Dante. Look, man, I was not going to respond to this video of my ex that's now gone viral. She is loving it. If you had people in your ear that influenced you into leaving your husband. Okay, so just a little context about this because uh, I've been following this a little bit. We're gonna so show she, that later too. We're gonna show her. We'll get into it, but just so so yeah. we understand what he's talking about. Uh, she went on this podcast, and what she was talking about is actually how she regrets the divorce, mm-hmm. um, and how she had a lot of people in her ear influencing her to get the divorce, and that's why she she wishes she had better people in her ear. And we'll get to all that, but I just wanted to clear. Some you content. think it was like, girl? You need to divorce him and get that money. Probably three different Girl, ones doing all that. He just doing another fa- Fast and Furious. You better be Fast and Furious with that money. You better, you better live your life one quarter mile at a time. <laughs> <laughs> you packed up a one-year-old, put a COVID mask on top of the rain cameras, and I was literally in an airplane on my way home to fight for my marriage. If you had friends in your ear, you're lying, you're gaslighting, you're playing. The only person that was in your ear was your mama. When Aventer Gray and Pastor John Gray were having their own marital issues at the time, you arranged a therapy session with Aventer Gray at our house. I'll say this. That's the second time I've heard that Aventer Gray, you know, that that's what... uh. Jada was talking about. Oh, Aventer Gray is that the yeah. the woman he she was. That's the her. woman that when he when she starts filming him in the house, he goes, "You know, Aventer Gray has just helped us out." Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, she got so a hell of a track just, record. If her track record yeah. is, is Jada Pinkett Smith and then Tyrese. Jada and Tyrese. <laughs> oh, that's a great one. Hey, She's come get some marriage counseling with with Aventer Gray. <laughs> By the way, if you need counseling, who you should hit up with counseling is is me or Dante. If you want to go to Dante, you can click uh, DanteNero.com. Dante click on consult. You get you get the real deal. Um, yeah. and, and Harry, you, you can email me at advicefromharry at gmail dot com. And believe me, our track record it can't be worse than Aventer Gray. <laughs> Aventer Gray is not gonna. I don't dance. got anyone. Listen, none of my consultations are online crying into a cell phone camera. <laughs> Do we do we have to put the early when it, when she was breaking up with him and he was crying online? He, Let me see if I can find that one. Hold on, uh, there'll be a but couple. But it's here. it's a, 
Because I, I think that that is important. That part is important, too. I understand that he was being emotional and he was feeling a certain way. The, my, my point, Dante, just, uh, you know, you believe you we both in agreement on this. Don't get no marriage counseling from from nobody in the church. No pastor. They don't know nothing about marriages. But if you're in that life, I guess you don't know any better either. But definitely don't get any marriage advice from a Catholic priest. Nobody who doesn't isn't allowed to be in relationships or have sex. That's absurd to me. But even the ones nobody that are, who's smashing the gooch. Yeah. Smash should be at least smashing the gooch. They should. And if that's what they're doing, then fine. They go, listen, you should listen to me. I smashed a lot of gooch in my day. So I know <laughs> what I'm talking about. Then I'm fine with it. Uh, I don't know if you what you heard. Uh, F what you heard, player. Yeah, I'm Pastor Gooch, uh, the newest <laughs> pastor here. And believe me, the children are fine. But the ladies, you in trouble. Pastor Gooch here. Ladies, you looking so beautiful today. I see so many beautiful that's ladies me. dressed tonight, this Sunday morning. <laughs> I'm just want to know who giving up some pussy. What? <laughs> Pass the gooch. Pass the gooch. <laughs> this is for, uh, all right, here we go. This is the one I think. Oh, this, oh boy. This is all I got. <laughs> Yo, bro, he start, you start the video that way? <laughs> <laughs> like, God damn, that is not even, like, you didn't even work up to you, it. Right? No, that has to be edited. He, no lead up? No. God damn. <laughs> I just want my baby. I just want my baby. Oh my God! Am I doing something illegal by doing this video, or is this? Am I protected by the the, the first right amendment or the amendment? The first, I know the first right amendment. Don't take my baby. I'm at thirteen thousand dollars a month. What more do you want from me? <laughs> oh my God! Look, um, okay. <laughs> look. You never seen that, huh? I have not seen that. That's tough to watch. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's tough to watch for me. Look, listen, man. Jeez. Listen. No, man. Give, give me like five more seconds. Five. <laughs> Look, man. Life is tough. I, I feel for Tyrese. Um, I feel for Tyrese. I know you're going through a lot. I understand you miss your kid. So I don't, part of me doesn't want to laugh, but do not put you. <laughs> What did you think was going to happen? You oh think that the God. internet was going to see this and have sympathy? That oh, they, the, 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 the internet saw it. Oh, they saw it. The, yeah. The, yeah. Internet, how many views is on that? Well, this is a re. Hold on. Let this me is see. a re. I, I mean, that, that's even, even a re. Thing. Well, this is. Well, I don't know if this is the re or not. It's 580,000. Look, yeah, man. Well, listen. And, and that's the re. That's the re. That's probably so the So that's not the original. I'm quite Fuck, sure it went, it went. It went dope on his Instagram. Here's here's why is this? All right, all right, so, <laughs> it's hard for me right, to make fun of this because look, it's. I understand this is because. Hey, listen, know. that's why we're a team because I'm here. <laughs> listen, man, hard, say no more, brother. I'll it. pick you up. <laughs> I'll pick you up when you're down. I'll take. You <laughs> look, I feel for the guy, man. He's going through a lot, and that's your worst moment. I understand that, but don't. Don't pick up the camera, bro. Don't pick Why up the camera. Pick up the camera. What's your step done? away? Step away from the camera. Tyrese needs one of those like breathalyzers they put on your car, that where the you know he's got to wipe his face on it or something, make sure there's no tears on it before <laughs> they, they he can put you open on up the stand. phone. If any tear drops hit it, you can't use your phone. People talk too effing much. People, I understand that we went through a period of time where men never spoke and people didn't speak up. And they, they was like, well, you got to express your feelings. You got to be able to communicate. You gotta, it's, it's all about communication. It's all about communication. Yes, it is about communication, but it's only about communication when we're talking about uh, re, like when I, I talk about show, show me the work. Let me explain what I mean by that. If you are in a situation where you are talking and you don't know objectively what you're trying to accomplish and, 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 and hear this clearly, I want, I want people to hear this clearly, not just men, women, everybody. There's only two reasons why you should talk. One is to get information. One is to give ex uh, information. And anytime you do something, the, the, the greatest thing about what women find very attractive about men um, and what's even better when you find a woman who, who exhibits this 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 kind of behavior is that you have an objective about what you are trying to accomplish. 
Stop doing shit for no reason. If you don't know why you're doing something, don't do it. You, if you're, if you're trying to get your daughter back, what about you? What about you crying on the, or, or get your woman back or whatever you should, what about you crying on this sniffles and snot bubbles? We call it the sniffles and snot bubble tour. What about this puts you in a light that makes you accomp- get, find a way to accomplish the things that you want to accomplish? Yeah. It does. How, you, how does it help? How does it help your reputation? What could you possibly think is going to happen? I'm curious. I mean, I don't know. Maybe you can help, Harry. I don't. What do you think? I think was he th- the only thing I can think is that sometimes when the other party is out there, like she's out there and she has her own podcast and everything, when she's out there spewing certain things that he wants to show both sides of the story, he wants to get his story out there. And there's a way to do that. But uh, I think you want a record of it. I think you want people to know like, hey, I'm not a deadbeat dad. I don't want people to think I love my kids. I, so that's what I think. That's why I sympathize with the guy because what he is talking about is fair. You know, he's like, I've had enough of this. I, I, I want to see my but kids. But showing yourself in that in that vulnerable way, right, in that way accomplishes what? All it, I mean, I get that you, you can express but look, uh, do we think any more of him because he's not bubbling and and spitting and crying? Do we think that he loves his kids any more because he's doing that than if he just said, "I love my children, I miss my daughter"? Even if he had said that, I, don't, I mean, I don't, I don't see how this accomplishes anything. I don't think it did. I think it's just an emotional situation, and once it's out there, it's out there. You right. Know, and I then think, you can't. Yeah. Bring, and he's always the dude. So it literally to the point was I didn't even really. This is the first time I'm here really even watching as much as I did. But I'm watching him, uh, you know, sniffles and snot bubble tour. And I've watched it. And I just I, there's a level of respect that I lost for that guy immediately. And oh. then every time he would be on the Internet, he'd be yapping on the Internet and telling well, his business on the more, Internet. That, that's the old video. And the one that's that's newer is. 12 minutes long of him talking about this divorce. And again, keep in mind, I I, I believe him. I'm on team Tyrese here yeah. as much as I don't yeah. want to be. I think genuinely he's a good dude. You know, he's talking yeah. about wanting to take care of his kids. This is, you know, when we talk about fathers not being involved, this is a dude who's breaking that. But at the same yeah. time, you're, you're damaging your reputation by putting this out there, going tit for tat. But I think some people get so hurt. It's like in an argument when you're, you're, your girl says that one thing and you're like, all right, I got to keep quiet. And then she says that one thing to totally uh, devalue everything about your life. You're like, yeah, that's right. why you ain't shit. And you're like, ah, oh, you, you uh, motherfucker. You mother that's fucker. why your mama ain't shit. Your yeah. fat mama raised you wrong. <laughs> yeah. And hey, you got to do that. But, but, you, but what about that? I don't think there's what about much that? thought process, <laughs> but you know what it is, Dante? It's, he has lived a life where he's been very emotional. Guys don't have that. You, this is why you cannot let emotions have a seat at the table, like you say. Can't have it. Because there you what, go. this is an emotional decision. He didn't go. This isn't like, you know what I'm going to do? Right, what time is it now? It's 3 o'clock now? Man, <sighs> 7 o'clock. That's when people are home from work. That's when I'm going to get the most Instagram followers. Let me work myself up and start crying and weeping. Let me start crying now. I should be ready in a yeah. good a good loud. I should have a good lather worked up by seven fifteen. Because you're still trying to get twenty thousand dollars a month for a five year old. You make one hundred and sixty thousand dollars a year on your own. This is all a game. You're clout chasing. You're everything that you told me and all of your friends and loved ones that you wasn't. Yeah, because that's what you say when you want to get in. When you want to get them on a hook. But again, I guarantee you there were things, there were red flags long before Absolutely. you married her. No one can hide it. No one thinks it. Absolutely. It's that you pass it by because she was beautiful, because you want this marriage. Right. Plenty of red flags before that. Emotion, having a seat at the table will clog your will clog your ability to interpret the situation in the best of it to the best of your ability. You sometimes when you are emotional about it, you don't even see that this that your relationship is transactional. That the only reason why somebody's in it is because there's something in it in them. And don't get me wrong, I think I think all relationships have conditions. But the, but make no mistake about it. You you have to interpret these relationships in a real way 
from a real perspective and 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 it takes a little time to see the truth and you if you're not honest about what you what you uh what you want and what you expect i mean people can lie but it's 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 also when you present people with the truth i i've said this a thousand times my truth makes sharpens your honesty the more honest and truthful i am the more honest it makes you because people who lie who cheat who don't who have no integrity will and and harry will testify there's dudes that Mm. they avoid me like the plague oh yeah oh yeah because they know that when they talk to you uh shout out to barry ribs who (laughs) the last time i saw him he goes hey how's dante doing man that dude brutally honest bro (laughs) brutally brutally honest that's the amazing thing is you do hold yourself accountable when you just in the confines of relationships though right so mm. you get a lot of guys this you know you have all these old you know happy life happy wife stuff always keep your wife happy yes dear always say yes yada 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 and they don't ultimately respect you for that when you're just lying no, no one's saying you have to be no. mean you don't have to be domineering but you know i've been in relationships if, if a girl asks me if this this dress makes her look fat or if this is is this is this a you know what do you think of this dress i will tell her honestly I right, yeah. will go. Yeah, I don't like the way that dress uh, hugs your legs. It doesn't. It's not flattering. It doesn't make your ass look right. And eventually, the first time, you know, because women are so used to people just going, "No, it looks great," they're almost offended by it, right? And then yeah. I have to, I have to go look. If you don't, you get into a fight, right? And what yeah. a norm, what a guy regularly does is go, "All right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, that was wrong." What I have to do is go, "Hey, if you don't want my opinion, do not ask me. I'm not going to lie to you." I'm not mm-hmm. going to lie. And what eventually happens is she trusts my opinion and she yeah. will ask me. I've seen I've seen my girl do it to other friends who they'll yeah. ask. She'll ask another friend and then ask me because she doesn't know if that friend is lying to her them. or not. But yeah. with me, yeah. she goes, all right, she'll trust me. And guess what? It also works in a way. One time my girl was like, uh, she goes, uh, I go, that's a nice dress or whatever. She goes, oh, you told me not to buy this. I go, all right. And she go, She was like waiting for a confrontation. Or I go, I gave you my information. It's up to you what to do with it. I'm not 100 percent right all the time. I don't right. pretend. To oh, you you it. you told her, you told her you didn't like it or told her. No, not to I buy told it. her it was one of those things. She had five of them, right? And so right. I listed off which one I didn't think she should get. But right. they were all nice. I go, these are nice. I don't like that one. We're down to like three. In my mm-hmm. opinion, you should get this one. This one, I wouldn't get that one. For and the let me ask you: Did she put it? Did she just hang, hold it in front of you, or was she wearing it? No, she held it in front of me. Yeah, yeah. that's another thing. Yeah, it's like, thing. first of all, when you're looking at women's clothes and you look at it on a hanger, you'd be like, "What is this? What is this bra strap and this a uh, horse harness that you <laughs> that you're hanging?" I mean, I, like if you hang some some women's clothes, women's dresses, you because of all the accoutrement that's in it. You can't even tell what it looks like. And then when somebody puts it on, then you can tell. But that that's Sometimes not even a woman will hold something up. I go, oh, that's a nice blouse. You go, it's a pantsuit. I go, all right. I didn't know. How am I supposed to tell? <laughs> that's actually a pup tent. Yeah. Um, these are going like, campers. like, okay, I'm sorry. I can't <laughs> tell. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck it is. All right. Let's... Um, but, but, I, but I think what's important, too, is, is that if you're not being honest, you're not being honest and then you're you're expressing your emotions. You cannot you cannot tell everybody anything. It's you got to be honest, because if you're not being honest, how does she know when you say I got your back? Like, what is it? What did we, we did that thing on Joe Smith? And she says, you know, if I had a dollar every time he says I got your back we would be fine in terms of financially. The reality is that you got to be honest and credible. That means you got to show up. You, If you say you're going to show up, you got to show up. But you also don't want to take your, emo- I mean, you look weak. It makes you look weak. Not that you can love your daughter, not that you can say you love your daughter, but you, I'll where tell you is what makes a- it look weak? I'll tell you what it makes, it's that he's not in control of those emotions. Yes. Yes. That's what it is. It's not that yes. you're crying. It's it's that you are clearly not in control. And then this follow up, he's not in control of this either. This other one. Yeah. yeah. But uh, we'll move on from that. Basically, he's angry. He's upset. And even though he's justified, he's angry and upset. That is why he's paid a million dollars in legal fees. He mm-hmm. has a prenup. She's fighting that prenup. And then she's also talking about how, you know, it wasn't about the money. It's not a money grab. It's not this and that. And he's and she keeps bringing up stuff. And she did a like a one hour podcast here, or two hours, 
talking mm. about the divorce and talking about all the things that she regrets about divorce, basically giving people advice through the divorce. And what it boiled down to was, and this is a great r- rationalization and realization, she basically boils it down to, um, you know, if you're thinking about getting a divorce, ladies, think it through. Don't just find people who are not just interested. Don't have people talking in your ear who are trying to talk you into the divorce. I wish I had people in my ear who weren't talking to the divorce. And the reality is the people you put in your ear are the ones you let into your life. So you're still responsible. You're still responsible. You know, we're always talking about accountability, but there's no, no greater accountability than supporting us on the Patreon at patreon.com slash manschool202 helps us keep doing what we're doing. Yeah, that's right. Patreon.com slash manschool202. That's where we do all the bonus content for the show. Uh, we talk about a lot of game, a lot of technique, and we also archive all the old episodes starting from episode one. So if you love the show and you want to support the show, come on over and join us at Patreon.com slash manschool202. And if you can't do that, at the very least, do us a favor, like and subscribe below and tell your friends. And do all. Do all of the above. Yeah. Peace. Let's go. Let's go.